Let's take a look how to make these two intertwining typo rings here in After Effects. Okay, so I gotta go with this composition that I imported from Illustrator into Adobe After Effects. If you wanna check out how to do it, you can click the link in the description or you can just select the type tool and type in something. Okay, so I'm gonna make the text black and I'm gonna scale it up, press the letter S and scale it all the way near the artboard. Now I'm gonna select the rectangle and I'm gonna draw a rectangle here and I'm gonna align it perfectly to the center, drag it under the text. I'm gonna go and toggle transparency grid back and I'm gonna select all the layers, right click, click on pre-comp, I can type in typo, click OK. Now I'm gonna go to the effects and presets, type in CC cylinder and drag and drop on the composition. Now I'm gonna go to the rotation and I'm gonna rotate it the rotation X. You also can increase or decrease the width of the circle by going to the radius. For example, here is 100 and you can increase it and make it more wide. I'm actually going to make it 124 now and I'm going to go and rename the layer. I'm going to type in A1 and I'm going to press Control D and this is going to be A2. And we're going to separate the circle and for the A2 I'm going to go to the render full and I'm going to select outside. So if I uncheck the A1 this is basically showing only the outer part and for the A1 I'm going to select the A1 I'm going to go to full inside. So check this out this is going to create only the inner part. Great. Now I'm going to select both press Control D and now I'm going to rename this A4 to B2 and A3 to B1. Great. And I gotta press and hold click, select the B1 and B2, and I gotta put them somewhere here. Now I gotta go to the B2, and we're gonna go to the rotate X, and I gotta rotate it upwards. I think minus 25 is good. I gotta click on it, press Control C, and I gotta go to B1, and I gotta go to rotate, rotation X, and I gotta type it in. There you go. And now at least all we're gonna need to do is to animate and with that we're gonna work with the rotation Y. So if I rotate it you can see it is rotating the texture inside. So I'm gonna activate the stopwatch at the rotation Y. I'm gonna go to the fifth second and I'm gonna type in here one. So it's gonna do a 360 degree rotation. I'm also gonna bring this here. So let's see it's rotating like this. I'm gonna animate the rest. And that's how you make this rolling animation in After Effects. Thanks for watching.